Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Lee. Uh, this is episode two, obviously, and in this one, we're gonna be, I'm guessing, <laughs> catching a butt ton more Pokemon. Just a, just a ton of butt more Pokemon. Oh. And our first one appears. Who shall it be? Oh, a defenseless rat. I guess now that I can catch them, I should finally catch them. Do I have Pokeballs? I don't remember. <laughs> Let me check. I do. Okay. Well, let's... This rat is actually pretty weak, so I'm just gonna kill it. Is that unkind? I feel like it might be, but... Um, I don't have room for weak-ass rats in my lineup, you know? God, he just won't die, will he? There it is. Chris Pine is a vicious monster, and I want everyone to know it. Hooray! All right, and off we go. Oh my god. <gasps> I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. It's so cute. I want it. I know it's weak. I don't care. It's cute and I want it. Hmm. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, <laughs> I was really close. <laughs> All right, bitch, you're coming with me. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Oh, what am I gonna name it now? I'm gonna have to name it something. Okay, let's see. It's so cute. Yes. Mm. It looks like a pillow, so I'm gonna name it Pillow. Pillow. Pillow Boy. I know that the centret is a girl, but Pillow Boy just has a better ring to it than Pillow Girl. And now our team is up to two. It's pretty exciting. Oh, what's this way? Oh, more Pokemon! <laughs> Shocker! <gasps> what is it? I want it. It looks like a radish. It looks more like a radish than Oddish ever did. Gonna get me one of these also. Maybe. Why does this one have splash? It does not look like it should have splash. I think I'm gonna accidentally kill it. Oh! <laughs> that was close. Okay. Clearly it's only move available is Splash, which makes literally no sense to me, but I am still gonna catch it. Pokeball willing. Nice. I think you guys know already I'm gonna name it Radish. Yep, <laughs> that's horrifying. Okay, okay, okay. Give a nickname to Hopip. Yes, his name is Silky. Even looks like an Oddish. Okay. And it's Radish. All right. And there's nothing over here. I feel like I've been lured over somewhere, and I'm about to get murdered. The least they could do is put, like, a potion or something, like, jeez. Alright. Time to kill a defenseless bird. I 
And there he goes. He's dead. Defenseless bird murdered. Chris Pine, vicious monster. Confirmed. Let's continue. Do 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 do. What's up here? Oh, it's that like um. Yeah, I want to go the other way. What's this guy up to? Fight me! Oh, he's just reminding me to save. That's fair. I always forget. Cherry Grove City. Let's heal up our Pokemon so that they can grow strong like me. We've got three now. Oh, it's really exciting to have three Pokemon, even if two of them are borderline useless. Alright, so... Oh, that was an accident because I don't know my controls still. All right. We're going to switch the order of my Pokemon so that I can strengthen them up. You know, that classic technique of having one go out and then immediately recalling it so that your actual Pokemon can fight the fight. It's fair to everybody. I'm just going to buy a lot of Pokeballs. Yep, 16. We're getting 16 Pokeballs. That's a good way to spend all my money, right? All right. Oh, a sign. Guide Gent's house. Okay. Oh, this is the guy who showed us around the town last time. It took forever. I cut it out of the video because it took an insane amount of forever. Like, truly remarkably a long time. Okay, they're just teaching me how Pokemon works. I'm not gonna bother with this. Is there a gym that I can take my one useful Pokemon to? Berry guy? Yep, berry guy. I already know the lay of the land. And we got a berry. Pretty sick. Love berries. Clearly I have to go this way. And the Pokemon. Maybe it'll be something useful. Oh, it's a pretty good bird. All right, we're gonna try and catch this bird. Yeah, I was right, there's only Slash. Okay, <laughs> we're switching. Come on, Chris Pine, you do your thing. did nothing. His rage is building, but will it build to the correct amount? Let's see. Don't kill it. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try scratching it. If it dies, then that's on me, I guess. Yep, it died. Oops. <laughs> I guess I don't get to have a bird after all, but at least Radish gained some experience in the real world. Do I have to go back to Mr. Pokemon's house? I think I do. Let's see. Ugh. Something helpful? Another bird, but is it helpful? 
No. We're just gonna kill it. It's really cute. Yeah, my rage is building too. How dare it. Oh, and there it goes. Sorry. Good job, Radish. You did so much. I think once I get Chris Pine to level 10, I'm going to start seriously trying to um, increase the level on my other Pokemons. Ooh, you know, I'm gonna catch the worm. I think I'm gonna try and catch the worm. We could all use a little bit more worm in our lives. I guess I have to catch the worm now. I mean, I do have all these Pokeballs. I might as well use them. Come on. Stay in the ball, you worm. Yes. See, it says it's a worm. Yes. The thing said it's a worm, so I'm gonna say it's a worm. But you know what? I'm excited about it. And... Good job, everybody. Okay. And Oak is gone, so clearly there's no reason to be at this dude's house anymore. And a Pussin Cure Berry! You know I need more Pussin Cure Berries whenever I can. Ugh, gotta go back down. Okay, this is gonna be great. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, that's fucking rude. No one asked, bitch. What do you mean you look weak? Why? Why do you think that? I have four Pokemon and you have one. Granted, all of my Pokemon are like level three and two and then one random crocodile named Chris Pine. But you know what? You have a level four rat. So who are you calling weak? Anyway, I took that very personally, but you can, I'm sure, understand why. I'm full of rage, so Chris Pine is going to use rage. It makes sense. Come on, rage hard, rage hard. Ugh, we're never gonna catch the pretty horse at this rate. You can do it, Chris Pine. Show him your rage. Ugh. Will it finally do it this time? I know it will, just kidding. There we go. And Radish gained 24 experience points and grew to level 4. That's so exciting. It had done so much. And hey, Chris Pine grew level 2. Actually earned it. Nice. Good job, Chris Pine. And Youngster Joey was defeated. 
<laughs> More like youngster Kathy, am I right? Doggone it. That's hilarious. This guy's the funniest. I hope we remain friends forever. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Youngster Mikey, wow. Oh, and he's got two Pokemon. A low level useless bird. Just like me. In which I'm saying I am a low level useless bird. You, you get me, you understand. <laughs> All right, Chris Pine, you've got so much rage in you. Let it out. Nice. <laughs> Good job, both of you. That seems apt. Yes. Let's give Pillow Boy a turn. Hmm. Oh, I guess we have no choice. Good job, Pillow Boy. You hit him. Now, back to Chris Pine. <sighs> this rat will not stop shaking its ass at me. It's <laughs> getting a little inappropriate. See? It's like pathological. Yeah, it did fail. I am immune to its ass charms. And there we go. Suck it, youngster Mikey. Hey, Pillow Boy grew to level 3. Good job, Pillow Boy. Huzzah! I love how triumphant the music is. It's like, no, I accomplished nothing here. Nothing to be proud of. I don't want to fight anyone. Oh, <laughs> just as I was saying it. Alright. Time to beat up on another kid holding nothing but worms. Yep. Worm number one. Yeah, Radish still can't do jack shit for me. So, back to Chris Pine. Oh, he sure showed me. So full of rage. Let's do it. He won't stop spitting at me and it's gross. Okay, fine, I guess I did complain, so that's my bad. Oh, but there he goes, he's dead now. And that's what you get for attacking random strangers with your spit. <sighs> yes, let's match Pokemon, yes, yes. Okay, let's give Pillow Boy a shot. I wonder if Pillow Boy could take him out all by himself. I bet he could. Nice. Good job, Pillow Boy. We could totally do this without the help of any Chris Pine. Pillow Boy might be my surprise favorite. I'm really rooting for him. I believe in him. That's what's the most important thing. Him and his one move. See, check that out. He needed help from no one. <laughs> that 
was so exciting. That was so much. It's very exciting. I am too strong. People say that about me. Ugh, fine. I'll go around. Stop following me, you dick. I want that ball. I found a potion. Ooh, there's a cave. Let's go in the cave. Oh, it's very dark. I don't want to be in the cave. A berry tree? It has a bitter berry on it. What does that do? I'm sure we'll find out eventually. It's probably really fun to eat. It sounds appealing. Oh, son of a bitch, though. Oh, another Pokeball. See, I don't have to fight. I can semi-pacifist run this. Oh my god, yay. You know I love my ball pocket to be full of balls. Okay, walk forward, you dumbass. Okay, we're going this way now. And we're in another city that's so exciting. We're gonna heal all of them immediately. <laughs> yes. We're up to four now, and all of them are useless but for one, and also Pillow Boy, who I love. Oh no, Team Rocket was up to no good with Pokemon. How unlike them. Are they talking about Ash? I hope they are. What are you up to, girl? Ghosts! Yes! Who are you? That's cool. I get so bored of talking to people in this game. No, I don't have a bell sprout. And no, I won't trade it for your onyx. I love rejecting people. It makes it so easy when I don't have the Pokemon to trade. Oh, they really just uh, are hammering home this trade thing. I don't care. I know how it works. Old man, do you have wisdom? Tell me your wisdom. From the Violet Pokemon Gym is a fine trainer. That's my old man voice. I didn't know you could inherit your parents' gym. Let's see if I can just beat them now with all my useless Pokemon. Let's do it. No, oh, find out now. Oh, I probably should have changed so that my radish isn't the first one that comes up. But, you know, here we are. Oof, aggressive. This is not gonna go well. Actually not sure if I'm gonna win against this dumb bird. <laughs> it's gonna be funny if I don't. Oh no, now it's gonna make all the annoying sounds. Come on bitch, you got this. Oh my god! All right, well, whoever goes next is gonna get the um, experience points and they sure could use them, so there we are. All right, Pillow Boy, you're up. Please go first. Oh, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh, whew. Yes, Pillow Boy. I knew he could do it. Good job, Radish. 
Will you ever become useful? <gasps> no. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> ah, so close. Okay, so back to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> Immediately. Like, I won, but still tail between my legs. Okay. Please do then. Yes. Okay. Just gonna get through that gym one trainer in my way at a time. Nope, oh, the gym's this way. My girl's not very good at directions. She is, in fact, a dumbass. Okay, I'm gonna switch the order. Oh, God, every time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch the order that my Pokemon are in. Radish. Your second pillow boy will go out first. Done. Okay. I wish I could be a bird master, but I just don't have the guts for it. Oh god, he's got two Pokemon. This is gonna murder me. It's not as bad. Okay, send out Chris Pine. Usual bullshit. so bad. I really need Chris Pine to get to like level 10. I feel like he's gonna learn a water technique or something at that point and if there are ghosts none of these normal moves are actually going to work on them so he needs a water fight move thing. I don't remember what they're called but he needs one. His rage sure is building. Prove it, Chris Pine. Good job, Pillow Boy. Pillow Boy could have level five. And he learned Defense Curl. That's you know, pretty, pretty okay, I guess. Okay. All right. Bird Keeper Rod's about to use Pidgey. No, we're not gonna change Pokemon. This is all on Chris. Sure is. Come on, Chris, you got this. Nice. Chris Pine gained 82 experience points. Yes, level 10, bitch, double digits. Chris Pine is growing before my very eyes. He learned no new moves, though. That's great. All right, can I just give him a potion? Oh my god, every time. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna use the berry. And then I'm gonna give him a berry to hold. For petal. And then we're gonna start with Chris. I'm gonna switch him up there, because we very badly need him to get his shit in gear and learn some goddamn water moves already. Wait, did he just say that electric moves permanently clip the wings of bird Pokemon? Because that doesn't make sense at all. And is unfathomably and is unfathomably cruel if it's true. Okay, we got this, Chris Pine.
Use your one move that I ever use. I can't talk today, but I'm very determined to have Chris Pine learn, like, water gun or something. Oh, real close. Nice. Good job, Chris Pine. A Pidgeotto, oh no. <laughs> no, we're not gonna change Pokemon. <laughs> oh, it's so big and scary. I wouldn't want to meet that in a back alley somewhere. It would kill me. Oof. I'm glad his rage is building, at least. You know, there's something. Oof. Come on, Chris. Take him out. Nice! We just got a badge. Ooh, 217 experience points. Grew to level 11. Water move, water move, water move. No! <laughs> Wait, did he inherit his father's Pokemon too? That's insane. That his dad had these Pokemon and gave them to inherit and they were only level seven Pidgeys. But hey, at least I got money and a badge. That's pretty exciting. Raises the attack power, enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it. And TM31. Okay. Mud slap. Nice. Thanks, thanks, thanks. So I'll maybe actually use it. Let's see if I can teach it to Chris. Yes, please. Yes, Chris Pine is able. And now he has a kind of useful move. Pretty sick. All right. We're gonna head to the Pokemon Center and call it a day. Uh-oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Fine, we'll talk to Professor Elm's assistant about the egg and then call it a day. this guy, right? <laughs> no, he asked me to find you. Whatever. Fine, I'll take the Pokemon egg. Hooray, useless, and taking up space in my Pokemon holster. Poke holster? Yeah, I'm going with it. Ugh. <laughs> Fine. All right, time to heal up, rest well, and get ready for ghosts next time. I hope you guys enjoyed episode two of Let's Play Lee. We accomplished a lot, still haven't met that pretty horse, but I know it's going to happen eventually. <laughs> <laughs>